H, B, and C. Right here, I believe we got to go in. Oh, allowed to have that. So we're not allowed to bring that to here. This in here. Hello. Sorry. Go in this one? Oh, let's go. Go to that thing. So make sure you put your pass, put that away right now. So they're taking it very beginning. So this is where you're gonna have to take your laptop out, remember? And your belt will have to come off. You have nothing in your pockets, right? So you need to take the sweater off, you will. Is that a zipper? Oh. <laughs> no, oh sorry. I thought it was I have an eye store here. Your passport like that. Your passport like that. No, they don't have the skywalk on. Skywalk is not on. Here, come to have a break for a second. Here, you carry this, and I'll carry that. Is her easier for you? <clears throat> your blouse is a little bit unbuttoned up top there. Not a bit of a headache. Never like being uh, a passenger in a vehicle. Well, at least it's nice to have this skywalk. The other one was shut down, guys. Of course, it looks like a nice uh, place to eat. The atmosphere looks nice. They have a oven in there for doing pizzas and stuff. You always stay to the right, eh? We're going from one uh, end of the terminal down to the other end. Good exercise. Nice watches. Goes both ways. So it's 31, 34 over there, 30, I think 35 of you over here. Excuse me. How far up is Tim Hortons? Tim Hortons, if you get all the street. How far? Pretty far? Not bad. Nowhere else for coffee, right? That's about the only place. But then the Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks. I like Tim Hortons more. Thank you. Well, guys, do we go for Starbucks or do we go for Tim Hortons? I think we'll go Tim Hortons. It was a good walk carrying those bags. It's unfortunate that they don't allow carts in this area. It's nice if you have luggage with the wheels, but when you're doing a carry-on, you're not allowed much weight in those carts. And those uh, luggage on their own, they weigh five or six pounds. The one that I had purchased was a really nice one. I really liked it. But when I weighed it, it was seven pounds, guys. And when you're only allowed to uh, bring 15 pounds on, well, the Betty Bauer bag that I have is, uh, I think, a pound and a half. So I gain a lot. Well, we're heading back to the Philippines, guys. I've never taken a flight this time. This is a later flight. It's a direct flight right from Toronto to Manila. And then uh, another flight from Manila to Dumaguete. I think Tim Hortons is just up around the corner. Some nice uh, shops if you're looking to buy anything. But I'm already overweight if I try to get anything else. But you have duty, Toronto duty free. Almost all these are duty free. There's Tim Hortons, guys. I told you it wasn't very far away. I knew it was close. It's actually right back at security where we checked in, guys. Hi, could I get, uh, you have meeting man large coffee? Could I get two large double doubles, please? And one carrot and one Wild berry and one Boston cream, please. I don't, there's no boss. I don't see the Boston cream. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And we're going back, guys. Some nice shops here. We got the high store. So if anyone's into uh, the iPhone type product, ooh, she's good. Lots of neck cushions. We even have a uh, booster juice. Wow, could have gotten that instead of the coffee. So this flight from Toronto to Manila is supposed to be just over 16 hours. And we have a little bit of a wait over in Manila. So guys, if you're flying from Toronto, you're gonna go to Manila, and then you're gonna leave that terminal, and you're gonna go out to another terminal because this is an international 
flight, right guys? So you're gonna go to the domestic, which is another terminal. You're gonna have to take a bus. Sorry, because you have to take a bus to Terminal 2. Normally, we'll see with this one, but that's the norm. It's been, this is a good exercise here, guys. Make sure you wear comfortable shoes. That's all I can say. These are always nice to be able to have a little bit of a relax. Of course, oh, that's supposed to be a nice restaurant. Well, for here in the airport. But we already ate. Guess what we had, guys? We had baby back ribs. That's what we had before we came. So, baby back ribs, and we had baby carrots, cucumber, and bell pepper, along with rice. And it was delicious, guys. So I'm really not hungry. What a beautiful day it was today. A much, much cooler load today. Two days has been uh, gorgeous. 26, 27 Celsius. But today it dropped. It dropped down to 18. That's a huge drop and it's supposed to even drop more. So when I was going through customs, everything was good. Only thing was, is on the scanner on that nine foot carbon fiber selfie stick, he said it showed like a canister hairspray. So they always had, they had it pulled over and you know, just go in. They're very good, the people are very polite, I find. And he goes, what's in there? He showed me on that, I said, it's a selfie stick. He goes, really? I said, and he pulled it out. And he goes, wow, he goes, uh, nice. He goes, I have 360 product. I couldn't video him, guys, because it was in the security area. So he said, nice, I haven't seen this one before. And asked me how much, and I told him, hopefully he'll be a subscriber, because I told him to go on to my channel and he'll see it. But anyways, long story short, didn't give me any grief in regards of bringing it. No issues whatsoever, but he did swab it. So first time I've ever had anything swapped here in Canada. Now going to the US, every time I used to go down to Colorado to go to the Rocky Mountain Audio Show, uh, swab your hands and swab all kinds of things. Crazy. But I'm shooting this on the GI Shin 5 Pro and I have that neck harness mounted so my hands are free guys, which is nice. Lots of Filipinos here, ready to take their flight home. Attention all passengers of Philippine Airlines. Plus to board our passengers, business class, people and economy passengers. It's fine. Thank you. So what are we in? I'm gonna read this. Watch you don't lose your passport, right? So 35A. Oh, we're way back. 35. We got right here. Look at that. Okay. Passport away. Yeah. This is the airport. Well, guys. That's where I'm going. To the Philippines. It's a big plane, guys. It'll get filled up quickly. Lots of people out there waiting to come. Well, guys. That's where I'm going, going to the Philippines. The plane is loading up, guys. All the people going to the Philippines are all excited. Philippines. This is a Boeing 777 300ER. It's a big plane, guys. To get a window seat, you have to pay more money. Otherwise, you sit in the middle. <laughs> it's all about money, right, guys? And if you want more leg space, you pay more Money. We will be flying on a Boeing 777. Try to enjoy this flight. Are you familiar with the safety emergency? Go guys. Those are slides, so you can slide out of the airplane, guys. Oh yeah. That'd be fun, guys. Lots of slides. Very interesting. Illustrations. Mm -hmm. Look at the people. They're going fishing. Look, they're all going fishing, guys. On the serious note, it is for safety. 
I'm just joking around a little bit of uh, humor. Under Boeing and the Southern it's nice to get on this uh, plane before everybody else dies so we get out to deal with all the people every night. Be a while before all these people fill it up. Welcome on board this Philippine Airlines flight. Before we depart, we want to let you know how much we care about your safety. This is inspired by everyone in the country for the safety of everyone in this flight. Before settling down, to be sure all carry-on items are securely stowed in the overhead compartment and small heavy items under the seat in front of you. Let us also ensure that all aisles and exit rows are clear of any items. Please set your mobile and tablet devices to airplane mode. Be sure to store large devices at this time. And also, please switch off all your transmitting portable you. electronic devices. If your gadget slips between the seats, do not adjust the seat. Please call a cabin crew member for assistance. The top of the bubble and free freedom. Also, please fasten your seatbelt over your blankets so our crew can easily adjust your seatbelt. Please remain pressured, oxygen masks will automatically drop in front of you. When this happens, Pull mask friendly towards you to start the flow of oxygen. Place it over your nose and mouth. Hold the elastic band for a snug fit and breathe normally. The oxygen will flow even if the bag is not inflated. All sharp objects from your body. For instructions, if you're going to this raised position. In case of a water netting, you will be found under your seat or inside your center console. To use your life vest, place it over your head. Tap the bed once submerged in water. When pushing trees and your seat in upright position, Higan Salamat. All settled. To learn more about our in flight safety procedure, go right in the seat. Well, there's a tablet in the There's where they were going on other flights from Toronto to Manila, everyone. 16 and a half hours, guys. Yeah.
Hello. Morning. What's that? You're shaking? Why are you shaking? Huh? Okay? The washroom at all? Okay? We are in Manila. Oh, I got a good wobbler. Look at this. Wobbler. Oh, might have to end up going through again here. Exit's over here. Where is the exit here? Terminal transfer. Oh, right here, I think, babe. I think this is where we go. Welcome to Manila, guys. From here, guys, when you arrive in Manila from Canada, you're gonna have to go out here to Jets transportation to another terminal. You want to check with these buses to make sure uh, that it's taking you to the terminal, proper terminal. So they'll to take us over. We're going to do Magadi next. Is our next one? So on here. Yeah. Uh -huh. You want foot on? Airport. So now we'll go into the entrance here. And if you're taking, for example, Philippine Airlines, which we are taking, you will go in this entrance way. So there's your area that you would go, Philippine Airlines domestic. Hello. And we have to have these two. So you want to have your boarding pass here, guys, so that you can show them. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. So this is now coming into the airport, guys. So if you're just coming in here to fly, you have all your different flights and that. Yeah. Do you have check-in baggage? No. This one is your hand carry? Sorry? Hand carry? Yes. Okay. As of now, you need to... Can I see if there's a tag? How about the other one? Oh, this one here? Yep. Five, four, five, it's like eight o'clock, right? We're on gate number 11, sir. Gate 11? Yes, sir. Eight o'clock. Oh. To Magadi, 8.30. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Eight o'clock is your boarding time. Yeah. Gate number 11. 11, thank you. Salamat. Okay. 
It's the same one that we went to before. So you're inside the domestic terminal, guys. And we'll have to come down to where our gate is. And you'll go through customs. So I'm not allowed to video here, so I'm gonna turn this off, guys. Guys, so this is inside the domestic airport. So we just came from the international. It's not a very big uh, airport, guys. It's pretty small. And this is the, the customs where you'll come through. And as soon as you come through, you'll see your boarding gates. So you'll see where you have to go. You'll check that and then you'll know what gate to go to. So it's not a very big airport, guys. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. There's a few places here you can get some snacks. There's a few things to eat, guys. There's a restaurant down here at the very far end. So when you come in, all the way, turn right and come all the way down. This is a preferred uh, restaurant called Central, what is it called? Central Cafe. We've eaten in there and their food was good. It's nice in there. There's K11 guys. A few more people here waiting to catch their flights. Some people already waiting. We have a Jetstar plane, looks like it's uh, taxiing to take off. Yeah, see a little bit of the sunrise coming up, guys. Wow, look at that. Look, guys, a little bit of the sunrise. Look at that, guys. Wow, nice. We're gonna get a few coming in, guys. I think Cebu Pacific is uh, ready to go out. And you have Royal Air. It's nice that it's not raining here. Looks like that typhoon is passed, guys, which is good. The sky's looking pretty good here. Uh, Hong Kong Air Hong Kong coming in Philippines Airlines uh, plane just went out Philippines Airline coming in and you have now everyone can fly Air Asia just leaving guys So there's a few different uh, 
companies flying out of this uh, domestic airport here in Manila. It's so easy going through the customs here, guys. It's really uh, very simple. Just make sure though that you have your e-travel. Now, this time around when I actually was uh, doing a check-in online, they have the e-travel right there to fill out. So make sure you do not fill out that e-travel until you have your throwaway ticket if you're gonna be staying over 30 days, guys, because they ask for those details. And they're gonna also ask where you're staying, and a contact number. But yeah, it was very simple, straightforward. You know, obviously you're gonna fill in that as pleasure for what you're planning on doing when you come to the Philippines. So straightforward, just asking for your passport, your uh, expiry date, when you're coming in, when you're leaving. That's why you have to have that throwaway, guys, if you're gonna be staying more than the 30 days, because it's all documented, right? So now when you go to leave, you could get asked before you get your boarding. Oh, there's another Asia, Air Asia going. So before they give you your boarding pass, they could ask for your e-travel and also your onward ticket making sure that you're leaving the Philippines within the 30 days. So this time around, it seems different all the time when I uh, ended up getting my tickets, my boarding pass, I should say, because I did everything. I checked in online, but I just was not allowed to get my boarding pass because they want to ask questions. But they didn't even ask me uh, anything. It's very strange. So it's very simple this time. Didn't matter. Last time I had everything anyways. When I came into Manila, uh, into customs, very simple again, guys. Didn't ask how long I was staying. Didn't ask for anything. Just my passport. Uh, stamped it. And I'm on my way. And that was it. But they could ask for your e-travel and your onward guys so there's a uh, Cebu Pacific taking off With an infant passing your seatbelt around your arms around your infant's waist. Your legs are found under your seats. On a water landing, remove sharp objects from your body. Sleep it over your head. Take tape around your waist and push and to bubble. Pull waist tape to tighten. When outside the aircraft, pull down sharply the two inflation cords at the lower end. If flight has failed to inflate, blow into your mouth tubes. Push pin inwards to release air. Do not inflate your life vest inside the aircraft. The lamp will automatically activate when the battery is submerged in water. In the likely event that emergency oxygen is required, oxygen mask will drop from above you. Remove your face coverings and immediately grab the aircraft oxygen mask and pull firmly towards you. Put over your nose and mouth, pull elastic band for snug fit and breathe normally. Keep mask on until you're advised to remove it. If a child or your passengers near you need assistance, put your mask on first before assisting them. The emergency exits are clearly marked throughout the cabin to escape the exits near you. These exits may be behind you. In case of power loss or smoke in the cabin, 
Emergency life upon markings will lead you to the exit during an evacuation. For further information, please study the safety card found in the seat pocket in front of you. In preparation for takeoff, ensure seat bolts are securely fastened, seat backs in a prime position. Large electronic devices like laptops and tablets stowed in your seat pockets. With the shades open and your tray table stowed. Once again, welcome to Philippine Airlines. Welcome to Dumaguete, guys. 